Welcome everyone. Welcome to another Let's Play. I'm so excited. This is Metal Canyon and we'll be playing the full version of Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Let's start a new game. I've already played the demos, so at least I'll know the few, you know, some basics and such. So this should be quite good. Quite exciting. I also like this uh, starting screen. Normal, hard and very hard. And, you know, we played on... on uh, actually, wait a second. Have we played on hard? Enemies deal more damage. Stalkers regenerate 50% health after combat. Skill cooldowns are not reset after combat. You have some experience. Okay. Um... Hmm, enemies do will do less damage. Skill cooldowns are reset after combat. Well, I have some experience with your experience with tactical games. This is the intended experience. Now, we'll go on hard without Iron Mutant because we know that uh, we don't like Iron uh, Man games. Uh, because if the game crashes and such, well, you can have quite a painful game. Let's start, let's start a game. Or the game. Man, I am excited. I've been waiting so long for this game. Ever since I first laid my eyes upon its glorious, glorious, lovely graphics, somewhere east of the Ark. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Dux, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on, we gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Yeah, why are you so annoying? <laughs> anyway, Trust uh... Trust me, I'm not annoying. Shut the hell up. Wanna no. see annoying? I can show you annoying. Well, it's a good thing What's that... What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and... Mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that 9,000 times already, Borman. <laughs> it's a good thing that, um, you know, I'll have the tutorial quickly again, because, well, it's been a couple of weeks since I've played the demo. And it's going to be good brushing up on this, on the controls. But yeah, this game looks great, it sounds great, it plays great, just like I said in the demo Look already. At this. Beautiful. Just beautiful. This scrap's gonna make us heroes back at the Ark. Rare scrap as well. The air stinks like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I smell it too. Where there's Break stalkers, up. there's Ark. Where there's Ark, there's... Killing time for Skizzix and Treble. <laughs> They're close, 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 close. Over there. Come, brother. I'm on that trail. Ooh. That was interesting. It was on our trail. Uh, I think we're gonna wait for him back here. But I also want to bring Borman closer. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, what's the... Hey guys, come here. No, no. Okay, spread out. Uh, I forgot. How do I change to Borman? <laughs> Darn it. No, it's not safe. No, I didn't want to do that. Tactical combat. Okay, we know about that. Let's exit the combat. Oh, it's shift. Okay. A little bit late now, but I just want him here just in case. Uh, that's... Yeah, that, that was not good. Let's start the ambush. Cover we know about that, 75%. So, you know, high cover is very, very important. We'll activate ducks over here. Hold Q to... Okay, yeah. Uh, so, you know, right now he's the only one that can really do stealth kills because he's got the crossbow which of course is very quiet now because we're so close we've got a hundred percent chance to uh hit and it'll do four damage so that's nice good night and the other oh, guy so good will not notice because well i still have to figure that out actually when these guys are close enough to uh wake up you know be woken up by their dying compatriots uh, let's see. Can I snipe this guy as well? I think I can. By just going around here closer. Let's see. Ooh, 75. That's not so good. Let's exit the combat. Um, let's see. Can I get around somewhere a little bit closer? Well, the problem is this guy isn't on a patrol. 
So what happens if I actually go into the re the red area? I mean, can I bait them out? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Doesn't seem. Ugh. Uh oh. Now he's seen me. Okay. I think I've been in the. Ouch. With me. What a great start, huh? What a great start to this. I've got a hundred percent. I'm just gonna fire anyway. I can still get into cover. Well, I, it doesn't. You right. Great work. It doesn't seem like much. Get your asses over here. Because it's only two damage, but you have to remember the damage. You know, my stalkers only uh, replenish fifty percent of their health now. I believe on uh, on hard. That's a. That's a. We saw one of these things once, filled with zone dogs, right? Oof. Oh, nice. Ancient fire torch when attached to any weapon. This will give a chance of shooting flaming projectiles. Good against flesh enemies. The ancients sure knew how to build big pieces of garbage. Never seen ghouls this far south before. Right in our neighborhood. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I cannot shake off the feeling that Borman's voice actor is the guy from The Walking Dead. But anyway, what I wanted to say is that, you know, my stalkers only replenish about 50% of health. So I'm assuming if we go below 50% health, they will replenish up to 50%. Um, and you have to use medkits to heal up. And also an uh, another error that I did while playing the demo was that I didn't go back to the Ark often enough. Wait, what's over here? This just goes back to the plane, right? It's easy to get disoriented in these places. Oh no, no, wait, this is another area here. Nice! Yeah, I'm gonna try to get all the scrap we can get. And also, if you watch the demo... Well, you probably remember that, but if, if you haven't, what I did wrong was I went to the Ark, and you can buy some upgrades there. And I bought some weapons before buying the upgrade that gives you like a 10% discount on all shop items. Which is, you know, quite a bit when you don't have a lot of money. So we're gonna do that as well. Look at that big one. We have to be sneaky. Okay, here's the plan. We turn off our lights, then hug the water. Go around them. These are level 55, right? I believe. Enemies with a red skull are too high level for your team and will kill you. <laughs> Avoid red skull enemies and explore the zone to find encounters that match your team's level. All right. If these guys are... I will rip off my yeah. tiny stalker arms and beat their faces till they die! Faces too ugly to beat. No one loves a stalker. Give me the stalkers. Let them come. Where are you? Ark don't even love Ooh. stalkers. <laughs> yeah, these guys are not nice. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. Man, I cannot believe I already took two bloody damage for ducks. Oh well. I guess I should have just, you know, went went into cover and went for the 75% shot. If I was in high cover behind that tree, I would have been fine anyway, even if they did attack me. The arc's up ahead. Home, sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, <laughs> get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Oh, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Man, I love the environment. I know I've been, you know, fanboying all over this uh, in the demo as well, but it just looks so nice. And I love the atmosphere. And like I said in the demo, I'm a huge fan of desert environments in games. Well, actually, not just in games, in real life as well. I love the desert. It's just so cool. Um, so, you know, I love me some good desert stuff in games. But I, I really don't mind this. This overgrown stuff. And I'm sure we'll see some deserts as well. I think we... Uh, Campsite. Looks like a family lived here. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. Excellent. Some med kits. There's only two of them, of course. Any time to heal your stalker, stalkers in the inventory. Healing outside of combat always refills you, uh, refills you to full health. Which is actually very handy. And I know what everyone will say in this Let's Play. And that happens in all of my Let's Plays. If you haven't watched me play games like this, strategic games, you have to know that I'm a stingy 
stingy person. Um, I will refuse to use medkits unless I'm almost dead. Even if that means that I do lose an encounter and have to reload. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just how I am. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. Turn off your flashlight. You're undetected. You can scope out enemy positions and kill isolated weak enemies using your silent weapons. You can tip the balance of fight into your favor. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we already know that from the demo. Man, I'm excited about this. And I'm not excited about that mini boss fight at the... Uh, at the demo's end. That was very, very difficult. Hungry. Hungry. I guess we take the arc. Taste the mutants. Okay. <laughs> Love me some mutants. <laughs> there we go. Rip their hearts. Crush their... Hey, hey. Hear that? You hear that noise? I hear my stomach. Hungry. Kill. Man, well, these guys are crazy. All right, let's let's get this butcher guy. And I have to remember, I always want full cover. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do it from here. No, maybe no. I'm gonna do it from here. No, no, no. Come on, here. Ah, god damn it! No. Oh, you son of a. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Can I get seven? Okay, a hundred percent. Excellent. I hope he's not too close to the other ones. Okay, he's not. Bye bye. Okay, that's a little bit um it's a little bit wonky when you're trying to hide very quickly. When your soccer team level up, uh, each mutant gains mutation points. Okay, we know about that. So let's go to the character stuff. Alright. Stat bonuses are permanent and are always applied regardless of loadout, and your loadout can be changed in, in the inventory. Right, so Borman has one point available. I'm gonna wait for the run and gun, which could be quite useful. Um, now, the problem is these skills, unlike an XCOM, for example, they do not have a cooldown per se, they have a kill down, like I said in the demo. So, for this one, when you use it, then you need to kill two enemies with, you know, with. All of your team. You don't need Borman to actually kill them. Anyone has to kill, um, you know, at least two. So, you know, that's a bit of a, a bit of a problematic thing. Let me go to Ducks over here. Skull Splitter is pretty nice. 100% critical chance for minus 25% accuracy. I'm going to take that. I also like how they sort of mutate into this. It's just slightly, you know, nitpicky. Slightly unfortunate that they don't actually sort of physically changed that would be that would be extra cool like you know for this skull splitter like maybe maybe his eyes i don't know glow slightly or something i don't know i i think that would be ultra cool and i know i'm just nitpicking but there you go wait a second the oh that needs three kills to reload is that what's what it is up there well let's open this chest was that there in the demo i don't remember that and i'm excited ah that's that weapon okay can destroy covers knocks back enemies this gas-powered cannon. I probably should read stuff for anyone that has not watched my um, demo of this game. If you didn't, the demo basically comprised of about two hours of gameplay up to the mini-boss fight. I know that's a bit of a spoiler, but, you know, um, yeah, I should probably read these things. But anyway, we're going to give this weapon to Borman here uh, instead of the Stinger. Whoa, that's six damage. That's pretty good. Wait a second, didn't this... This used to do four damage, didn't it? I could swear this used to do four damage instead of... Instead of six. That's that's awesome, because I really needed more damage. This gas-powered cannon, humorously named after the type of damage it has been known to deliver, launches fat, chunky shells. What the gaper loses in subtlety, it gains back in power, can knock back most enemies. Also, this is very nice, because when you have an enemy in... Uh, when you have an enemy in cover, you can use this to bring him out of cover and then finish him off with a different character. So that's really nice. Okay. Now, this is only half cover here, unfortunately. It's also... I would really appreciate if I could hide and then move, you know, 
next to cover, like in Hitman, for example. That would be very nice, but unfortunately, that's uh, not possible. Right, let's uh, bring Borman into... Let's bring him closer. This is all half cover, which is not great. Uh, but I guess I'll just have to start the comet from here. I could try to move to that uh, rock over there, or maybe this. I could also try it from up there, but I don't think... I still don't know how the mechanics work. Does having a height advantage give you any actual advantage? Let's see, actually. So if I activate him, uh, this is 75%, and this one also has 75. Okay. Let's exit the combat and go back down. He'll go, Ugh, like he's getting hit. And now let's shoot from here, which is roughly the same position. Out of range. Ah. So it increases your range. Okay. That, that makes sense. I could hide behind the tree, though, because that is full cover. But I think I'm going to do it from here. Okay, so the Marauder has more health. And that guy's out of range. I'm going to use this, which has two ammo. That's fire. 75% should be pretty good. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. I'm born, bitch. <laughs> I'm Borman, bitch. <laughs> the enemy heard you. Oh, yeah, we know. All right. Now I can activate ducks here. All uh, right. 75% to actually hit him. Or I could use the skull splitter. Uh, which will give me, you know, a crit of 5 damage, unfortunately, only. So this is not as useful yet, but we'll upgrade the weapons. Uh, so I don't, you know, I don't want to do that. It's not worth it, because I'm not going to kill this guy anyway. Let's go for this. Excellent. That's good. And now it's the enemy's turn. Okay, he's going to go for ducks. Oh, bloody hell, that's not a very good beginning. Oh, phew. let's see if they if they sorted this out. Did they? Two turns. No, they did not. It still says three turns, and then as soon as it's your turn, it starts. In oh, that's not good. Wait, what's this? Invalid target. Target out of reach. Oh, okay. This is really, really not good. I cannot get to... Ooh. Wow. Are you saying I might have to reload already? This is a bad beginning. And this guy's out of range, of course. Oh, man. This is gonna be fun. So what happens if I just... If I just kill the hunter? Overwatch. Right, he's on Overwatch. So if I don't kill him this turn, he's done. Oh. And I do not have grenades. Oh, I have this, but that's not going to kill him. So I have to... Uh, I don't have run and gun. <laughs> 75%. Okay, let's go. I know it's Overwatch, but I have to do it. Wow. The demo went a lot smoother. I'll I'll say that much. There you go. Don't mess with me. So I'm assuming ducks will be fine now, right? Yes, he is. Okay. You're the best. Man, that, that was not good. Hey, um I'm not being very good. In this part of the game. So there's the boombox. This is pretty funny. Let's uh, let's listen to them. A strange talking box that hisses at you like a snake when powered on. Sometimes, depending on where it is placed, it will speak to you with beeps, whistles, or even faint voices. It includes a handy slot on the front for keeping things in. <laughs> like the cassette slot. <laughs> Look at this beauty. The ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but... Once in a while, you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button, and it goes boom. <laughs> Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. <laughs> I like that. They incorporate it, you know, modern stuff that's sort of become a legend. Oh, nice. See, it's a good thing I went here. Sort of a legend in this post-apocalyptic world. 
because it's been, I'm assuming, hundreds of years since uh, humanity's fall. And uh, they don't know what all this stuff is. It's, it's pretty funny. I, I like how they did it sort of with humor, but it's also serious. A boom box that goes boom. So see, I'm at half health now. Um, ducks can get killed in one shot, pretty much, as you saw. But I refuse to use a med kit. I refuse to, because I will use it up. And I think I'll have to use it anyway. Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost. A lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least... That's what the Elder says. Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. Subtitle, Use Your Damn Mat Kits. You stingy bastard. <laughs> Knocking enemies off a high place will damage or possibly kill them. Okay, we're almost back to the Ark. And uh, my health is low. I'll have to buy more med kits at the Ark. Definitely. That looks so cool. Home sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. Now let's look for more scrap, of course. And everything is so nicely detailed. Oh, right, well, look at that. That's a lot of exits everywhere. Common scrap. Lovely. Can I use this? Oh, locked requires zone key. Oh, that goes to the zone. Cool. Two ghouls. See them? What are those rod heads up to? Wait. They're planning to ambush the elevator. We've got to stop them. Let's sneak around and see if there's others. Is there anything here I can pick up? Ah, uh, yes, there is. Always explore everything. Rare scrap. I like that. So... Here's the thing. Can I save this? Is there a way to save? Okay, I can just save there. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. I'm at half health. I should really, you know, use the med kits. But I refuse to. Let's open the chest. See if there's anything good in there. Is, is it armor? No, it's it's ah, it's the hat. Military grade tactical visor used in the poker stealth conflict. <laughs> this stylish piece of gear reduces glare, granting its wearer a range bonus. That is quite useful, and I think... Let's pick up the rest of the stuff. Valuable scrap. Note. 
Uh, Stalker Clara note. It's a crying shame with this to barter. Delta would have surely given us the discount she mentioned. So here's the deal. A working spark machine lies to the east of the Iron Serpent within the scrap ruins. This was one of those devices for burning things together or whatnot, but of course, there's no silver lining without a fucking cloud above it. Them damn gold bastards who lurk in the ruins came out and chased us away before we could recover it. Next time, ghouls, we will get you good. Okay, so this is a note from another stalker. Alright, let's see. I want him, I want Borman to have the helmet. Because right now he's the damage dealer, really. Uh, he's got the Gaper, which does quite a lovely... Whoa, this does 5 damage and 8 crit damage. I think this got increased in damage as well, yeah. I think after... Ooh, we got some hand grenades. An ancient relic from a war which predates the Enclaves. Somehow still functional and very dangerous. Creates a large explosion when thrown. Uh, yeah, these are um, all grenades. Everything thrown is limited, by the way. This is not just like an XCOM equip and that's it. Uh... You know, if I use it, it's gone. Okay. So yeah, I can uh, use the med kits. I've got three med kits. But if I'm careful enough, I should be able to do this without actually using any. We'll see. I want to call any possible patrols first. Oh, there's some scrap over here. Let's get that. Now, we could always go around them, but of course, killing them will gr grant us experience. Where? Did they remove this? Oh, no, no, there he is. Okay, let's see how close he gets. Alright, so if I turn on my light, the, uh, it gets a lot bigger. The uh, detection radius. Okay, let's try to get this Marauder first. Oh, darn it, I cannot... No, let's, let's get this guy out of the picture first. Where's he going? Okay. I'll need to wait for him to go back again. And I'll hide by that tree over there. Or, I can actually do it now. Shh. So how much is, is it from here? Is it 100%? No, it's 75. I'm gonna wait. What? Wait, 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 what happened? Um... I only exited combat. Was he not in cover anymore? Uh, okay. I have to remember that. That's not good. <laughs> Why is everything going wrong now? That's not good. He's still in cover. I don't understand that. And I don't like it. Okay, that butcher, I think, will be able to run to us. But I want to get into full cover first. And get this guy here. So I can just use my pistol here, which will do four damage. So Because the uh, crossbow only has one shot. Get this guy out of the way. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, let's activate Borman as well. And unfortunately, he'll have to sprint. I could get him into cover over here, but I don't want to do that. Let's sprint into full cover. Actually, he should have stayed there on Overwatch. He could get that Marauder. Oh, he's calling the rest of them. Overwatch. Oh, that's not good. Hello. I can get the Butcher. Overwatch. Hmm. Right, if I go over here, that guy can just get over there and shoot me, so that's not so great. If I go over here, that's not good either. Actually, I can go over here and get a 100% shot. But if I go over here, that guy can just sprint over here, right? We'll see. We'll see. We just have to do it. Let's go over here for now. And get this guy with a 100%. 100%. I have to salvage the situation now. Borman will uh, give us cover. Yeah, out of range. Okay. So, go for this. And be on Overwatch for now. Overwatch. Overwatch. Oh, there he goes. Nice! Excellent. Oh, man, you are the shit. <laughs> I like the banter. Well, he's exposed, but... Um, that doesn't help me because he's 
on Overwatch. So if I go over here, I'll get shot. And I do not want to get shot. It kind of sucks. Right. Let's get him behind these tanks. Uh, go on Overwatch for now. Overwatch. See what we can do. Overwatch. If he wants to come closer and play, be my guest. Huh? Okay, he's not on Overwatch now, though. I cannot see him from here at all. Uh, and I don't have run and gun. Alright, let's get over there. He will most likely be shooting at us from there. I don't think he'll be running any everywhere. No chance to hit. Yeah, that's not surprising. I'm gonna use this. I'm going overwatch for now. Or should I run into full cover over there? Let's do so. Full cover over here. And Borman will watch this space. From full cover as well. Overwatch. Alright, come out. Come out to play. There you go. Excellent. Ah, darn it. Ah, that's not good. Wait, he... Excellent. He, um... He sprinted. And we are out of ammo for that. So we're gonna go over here. Unfortunately, ducks will not be able to hit him from there. Ah, that's not good. At all. 25% only. He did sprint, though. Let's see. I can stay on Overwatch here. Overwatch. And get you behind full cover. And then shoot. Hurt, don't it. Nice, but it wasn't a critical, so I didn't take him out in one shot. So if he wants to move now... Yep, come on. Don't miss. Ah, no! Ouch. Ouch. Borman is now bleeding out. In two turns, of course. So I am going to get closer. <gasps> okay, I've, I've still got the crossbow. I'm out of ammo for the other weapon. So that, that would have been really bad there. Okay. Good night, sir. See, and I didn't have to use any medkits. I have to remember now. That's really weird. If I'm you're... Okay. okay. Regroup. If you're hiding... What was that? More stuff. Ancient sight. Iron sight from a war that predates the Ark. Old but sturdy. Increases the range of whatever weapon it is mounted on. Excellent. But you can only do it in the workshop. Uh, yeah, I have to remember that. If you're trying to stealthily kill stuff... And you're hiding... And you decide, no, I'll exit combat. It seems that now they spot you? Because I don't remember that being a case before. Hmm. It's a little bit annoying. Or maybe it was just... I was a little bit unlucky or something with the positioning. I'm not sure. But that was weird. So wait, if I hide... No, I obviously cannot do a ambush now because there's no one nearby. Some common scrap here. I think I took everything, right? Okay, this is where we... Okay, yeah, this is where we came from. All right, let's go over this way. And now I think we're pretty much to the Ark. We're back home. So we can uh, heal up. Well, we could heal up here as well, but uh, we can, you know, buy and sell stuff. Upgrade our stuff. We also leveled up. Ooh, some more scrap. Yes, please. Ooh, and a box. Don't mind if I do. What's in the box? Oh, armor. Excellent. Found often across the zone, mainly upon the corpses of stalkers, hence its name. This light, flexible armor is easy to move around, although it does not offer the wearer a great deal of protection. Okay, let's take that. And I will give it to Borman for now, because he's got the most health, so... You know. Of course, I want ducks to be one-shotted every time. <laughs> I need. I do need to heal him. Um, I'm hoping they change that back then in the demo when you got back to the Ark. It didn't actually heal you up. So you still needed to use the medkits. Uh, wait a second. Where am I going? The Ark. 
What's in the oh, this is the uh, this is the elevator. There we go. I don't think there's anything else around here, right? Sparkling. Nope. Let's go to the elevator. Nice. We're back home. The elder meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before. But the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. Alright, the fate of the Ark is in our hands. Here we go, the Ark. Red Skull enemies are simply too difficult and require more practice in the zone to defeat. There we go. Investigate Hammond's cabin. Uh, cabin. So, the first thing we need to do is go to... Prip's place, I think. After a killer day in the zone, you know you can always come to Prip's for some high-quality grog. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little, uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? Alright, so this is what I should have done in the demo as well. Uh, you can bring the artifacts like that boombox, for example, to him and uh, get stuff in returns. For example, extend crew bleed out time by two turns, which would be kind of useful. Unlocks an extra grenade slot per crew member. Fairly useful. Or grants a 20% discount in Iridia's shop. Iridia and I have a history. I was in her crew back in the day. She was the best stalker we had. Nothing could touch her. It's a damn shame that the rot got to her. Tell you what. I'll put a good word in for you guys and see if I can get you a bit of friendly discount at her store. Iridia is a shrewd businesswoman, so the cut will be taken from somewhere else. Might mean that Volt doesn't get his vitamins for a while. But who needs hair, nails, and eyelids anyway, right? Damn straight. Well, let's let's do that. Sorry, eyelids. Well time out there. All right, so you know, because last time I I actually bought stuff uh, before getting the discount. This place looks really cool. Look at you that. You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. Man, this looks so cool. Alright, so... Uh, we've got some stuff, including a pipe gun. What did I buy last time? Smoke grenade. When lit and thrown, this grenade will fill a large area with dense smoke, which will block the line of sight for enemies and heroes alike. The smoke will also extinguish any fire that it comes, in, it comes into contact with. Useful when you are pinned, burning, and desperate. Now, that's not bad, actually. Um, yeah, I don't want... What did I... Did I buy the pipe gun last time? I'm not sure. I might have. Um, right, let's... Back Until to, next time. Back to the Ark. I want to upgrade my weapons, which is very important. Wanna know how this goes down? For the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Any questions? 
<laughs> okay, right, so let's upgrade the Gaper first. Actually, the crossbow as well. This will give us 20% added weapon range, which is pretty nice so we can, you know, kill stuff reliably. I think I'll buy another one of these. And damage modules. Uh, one additional critical damage and 50% chance to burn enemies. This is not really useful for uh, the crossbow here, even though we do have that skill that gives him a increased critical chance. But I would rather have that on a... Oh yeah, this is what I need. I don't have the um, weapon parts. Oh no. Because this really uh, increases, see, the damage and the crit damage. Hmm, okay. Let's improve the gaper with the uh, burny, burny thingy. There we go. I also love the fact that it actually adds it to this stuff. Yeah, I don't have enough weapon parts. I did last time I played the demo. That's quite interesting. Okay, I, I, think, I think I want another scope. Welcome. And Excuse me if I don't get up. When the zone rot hits your spine, standing is a luxury. Oh, this is 120? <gasps> That's expensive. Also, med kits are 44 per piece. Ouch. But yes, I, I want them. I definitely want them. There we go, because I don't know how many you can have at the same time. Travels. And there you go. Man, this looks so cool. Let's go to the Elder. My home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit, and I'll offer you some guidance, perhaps a story, to help you become wise and strong. Alright, that's, that's that. Survive. And persevere, my brave stalkers. Yeah, I'm not really sure what went on with the lip syncing there. There's pretty much none. Uh, but I don't really mind because the rest of the game looks so good. Look at all that stuff. What are those things flying above them? That's cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this despite my... Um, well, I, I'm not really doing that well. <laughs> Yeah, I'll need to use some medkits. Uh, and we'll continue next time. So, thanks for watching. Check out my Patreon. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like. And also check out the playlist. This thing will have a whole playlist. I like all of my Let's Plays. Have a good one. Bye-bye.